revealed some things that God revealed even this week about some people. Ministers. Ministers and prophets doing things that not pleasing in the outside of God. I have never, if I can have God to know that my stability yes. is on the rock of Jesus Christ and that the foundation that I build upon and stand upon yes. help me help me to be who I am. I'm not a bit more discouraged. You got ministers that out here now saying, oh, I'm sorry, uh, 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 but I'm bisexual. Didn't even know that they were, but yet you get up and prophesy. Mm. Then you got those that touch it, little children. What is it that going on? God showed it to me. He said, sexual perversion. My mom said this. She said, y'all, she said, let me tell you, God showed me sexual spirit. She didn't say any other type of demon of stealing, cursing, or Line, all this type of stuff. She says sexual demons mm. going up in the pulpit mm. mm. where the leaders are mm. Mm. and they doing sexual perversion. Mm. And people want to know why. Let me tell you God said anything secret shall be what? Revealed. Yes. If you got some secrets Somebody better say amen. It's going to be revealed. God's going to show people who you are. Amen. Ephesians 5 and 3 said, let there be no more sexual, no more sexual immorality and impurity or greed amongst the children of the Most High God. Can somebody say amen? amen. Let me get this other scripture. Luke 21. People, I'm telling you, God is trying to prepare us and get us ready. How many of you know this world is not going to be here forever? Yes. Let us get ourselves together. Yes. Amen. To walk with the Lord. And Paul said, I'm not trying to put no restrictions on you. I'm just trying to tell you about your distractions. Yes. He said, look, the 21st chapter... <clears throat> Beginning with the 24. Let's see. Let me go over to this one. Oh boy. Hallelujah. He said this. And take heed to yourself. Let's at, I'm going to the Luke 21. Uh-huh. Go to the 34th verse. Uh-huh. The rest of y'all have it? Okay. He said this. And these are my last scriptures. People say to yourself, Lord, what what are distracting me from seeing you for who you are? He said, everybody got it? Luke. Okay. Amen. 21. I hear some pages still turning. Y'all got it? Y'all got it. Okay, here we go. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your heart be overcharged with serpentine. It's like Harrison. And drunkenness and the cares of this life so that they, they come upon you unaware for as the snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth y'all better listen watch ye therefore and pray always lest that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And in that day, time, he was teaching in the temple. At night, he went over and abode in Mount Olive. But he's trying to say to each and every one, you better watch. Watch in God over your souls. Amen. 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 This is my last scripture that I want to talk about. And then I'm going to let you all go. But listen at this. Go to Romans, the 8th chapter. People, let me tell you. Fornication, I don't care if you got a need. You better take something. Sit in some cold water. Turn your mind on something else besides fleshly things. Yes. Amen. Somebody better say amen. amen. Oh, Pastor Carolyn, you owe the child, please. Always, I kept myself. Amen. And, 
And let me tell you about me. You know, uh, I didn't have to to lay with a man for a man to want to marry me. A man married me because of the morals that I had. Amen. Morals are so important yes. to all of us. Amen? Amen. Romans 8, go down with me to the 35th verse. Y'all got it? Amen. 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 I'll wait for you. The 35th verse. Everybody needs to take a, a check on this. Amen. Listen at what it said. When you get it, say amen. Amen. Y'all got it? It says amen. this, Romans 8 and 35. Who shall separate us from the love of God? This is what he said. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulations or distress of persecution, or famine, or nakedness, of peril, of sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. People, what would separate your love for Jesus Christ to face all of the distractions that's in this world? Please consider your distractions. Get them out of your way. Don't, 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 don't see. I remember one of the recorders, Mac Reynolds, he said, I miss my time with you. People, spend some time with the Lord. He said, nay, in all these things, we are more than a conqueror through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities of power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor heights, nor death, death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And if these things separate you, something is wrong. The Bible says is that the scripture says, for your sake we are killed every day. We have been slaughtered like sheep. He said, but despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loves us. I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from the love, from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels. They talk about nor demons. Mm. Let me tell you, the Bible tells us all the time that devil can transform itself as an angel of light. Yes. Watch and know who around you. Watch and know who what people I don't care if people prophesy to you. I don't care if people shout, jump, praise God. And I tell y'all all the time, watch my life. Look at the life that I live. I'm not living on double standards. You don't catch me in the club. You don't catch me doing this and doing that because I'm real with God. Yes. And I've been like that for a long time. My mind is made up. My heart is fixed. Yes. That I belong to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Then he said this, and this just in another way. For despite all these things, overwhelming victories is our through Christ who loved us. Then he said this in the 39th verse. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation would ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed. And it's Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. 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 Say, Lord. Lord. What are, what are my distractions? My distractions. Say it again, Lord. Lord. What are, what are my, distractions my distractions that would keep me, would keep me from, serving from serving you? Amen. Give the Lord a hand, praise. Y'all know that's a message for God. <laughs> Amen. That's a message from the Lord. I want everybody, if you feel like that this word touched you, and you feel like that you want to get even more closer to the Lord, and what we were talking about, what the Bible said, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. We read in that in Romans, the 8th chapter, is teaching us to say, if you, if you feed the flesh, yes. give in to the flesh, 
It's going to conquer you and you're going to die. Your spirit will die. You won't have no joy, no peace. And then I'm going to tell you this. And y'all listen to me good. The Holy Ghost cannot dwell in an unclean vessel. Yes. And I say that all the time. So if you can sin freely yes. and don't feel no conviction, hey, bro, let me tell you again, he's gone. Yes. So get him back into your life. Yes. Get him back into your life. Don't say, oh, you you a grown woman. God understand. Yes, he does understand that we can wait on the Lord. Yes. Let me tell you, I never had, because of my who I am, and to see, and this is, I think, this is what happened to so many women, is the reason that we are not married. We just get it in so quickly. People, let me tell you, this is the here. Child, please, I'm not staying with you. You're not staying with me. <laughs> no, You're not right. getting these cookies. I'm just going to read on this cookie. <laughs> you better say so. Uh, I, I'm serious. Y'all better know that's start right. telling me you better say it. Start telling them. You know, even Beyonce has that sense that you better put a ring on it. Come on. Well, if, if the people that work and tell you to put a ring on it, you better start saying it. <laughs> Don't give place to the devil. Stand yes. ground. Don't say, well, I'm going to be so lonely. Oh, my God. I'm going to be by myself. You're going to fall in love with Jesus. Yes. And when you do that, yes. he'll send you exactly what you need. Yes. Amen. Let me tell you, I don't have, even right now, if I wanted to be married, a, 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 a friend of mine right now, if I want to be married, we want to marry me. But I don't want to be married. I don't. I'm married to Jesus. Oh, that's right. Somebody better say amen. amen. Oh, girl, I ain't got time for all that stuff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for real. Y'all, y'all, I'm so, y'all, I'm so in love with Jesus. Y'all just don't know. I'm so in love with Jesus. I'm not saying this for you that you got to have somebody, right. but the, if you would first put him first, yes, let him be yes. the desires of your heart. He would give you exactly what you need. He would yes. send a man into your life. Yes. And then that man would treat you so good and so nice and so respectful. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, you've got to, you've got to wait for that. Yes. Wait on God. And God will give you exactly what you need. Can you say so? Can you say amen? <laughs> amen. He killed me. Amen. Somebody said, that's my like you don't want to give me a child, please. I, I got God. God just said fulfillment of my joy. Right. And then if God, if he does send a person, I would know it, it would be God. Right. It's just a certain thing that I, I said, God, you know, such a son, let me know. Because I'm going to tell you, it'll show up be God. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sold out. Yes. I am. I'm sold out to Jesus. Amen. I'm yes. sold out to him. Amen. 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 We just <laughs> bless the name of the Lord today. And for his goodness. I know that's right. <laughs> and to understand about distraction.
things that I need to I need to correct. Amen. 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 People, it's time to be real. It's time to be real with God and be real with yourself. God, I ask you in the name of Jesus, and I ask you right now, in Jesus' name, move by your spirit, God. Lord, everyone that is in this place, Lord God, let them find themselves in the word of God. God, give them grace. Give them mercy. God, you said in your word, we're saying about grace, about the Lord. I ask you, God, to cover us with your blood, Lord God. Make us a clean vessel. That we can be clean and in time and want to nothing. Lord, I ask you in the name of Jesus, wash us and make us over again. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Repeat after me, Father. I thank you for all things in the name of Jesus. Lord, create within me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Father, make me over again. And I believe and I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, y'all. Amen, amen. And y'all give us all these things up of the word. Amen. Think of Blackwell is going to come and he's going to take up our offering. Amen. I just thank the Lord for his goodness and his mercy. Thank the Lord for his goodness and his mercy. Amen. And I ask you to bring your offering to the Lord. Amen. And we're going to be giving five.